Hey, what's going on, Aries? Butch Tarot here. I'm going to do your one week read. It is a general read, so it may not resonate with everyone. Uh, it is for your sun, moon, rising, and your Venus. For all you cross watchers, roles can be reversed. Always feel free to comment down below. With that being said, let's get it. Universe. What do we have for Aries? What's going on for Aries universe? What can we see for Aries? What message do you have for Aries? All right, Aries, so the first thing that I see is I feel like there's definitely someone around you. Now, this could be someone you just meet or someone you're going to meet, but with this person, first and foremost, this person has their shit together. They, I mean, we have the two of, two of Wands as well. We have the King of, King of Pentacles, that, you know, that Taurus energy, then we have that Two of Wands. You know, I feel like this person has their shit together. And they know what they want. You know, this person is not someone who shies away from hard work, first and foremost. I mean, I feel like this person knows that sometimes to get what you want, you got to get a little dirty. So they're not afraid to put in the work. You know, this is not someone that's afraid of that. And they know that with anything good comes effort. You know, you got to put in the work if you want the good stuff. And this person, like I said, they will show up. They will put in the work. You know, with that that eight of pentacles, putting in the work, showing up. And then we got that ten of wands just to affirm that. I mean, they're not afraid of fighting for what they want. You know, we, we also have that five of wands again. They're not afraid. You know, they're not afraid to put themselves out there if it if it's what they want. You know, and they know that not every day is going to be a good day. You know, some people are so blind to that. They feel like every day has to be a good day or it ain't the right connection. When has that ever worked out in life? You know, I, I feel like very passionate energy you share with this person. You know, we have that Knight of Knight of Wands. And we have that King of Wands. You know, very passionate. You know, a lot of physical, you know, physical energy that's going to flow between the two of you. You know, like I said, sparks are going to fly. And to the, to the very core of this, I feel like this is how it begins. You know, I feel like there's a lot of physical attraction. I'm not going to lie to you. It's not it's not based on anything else in the beginning. It was based on physical attraction. But what has kept this going and what's going to keep this going is everything else. You know, this person, like I said, they have their shit together. They know what they want. They want to build a foundation. They want stability. They want someone that can be there for them and someone they can be there for. Someone that's on the same page and isn't afraid to get their hands dirty either. And I feel like you are on the same page because we have the seven of pentacles. You know what I mean? I feel like this is what you've both been waiting for. You've been waiting for that person that is strong. You know, that strong person 
that that wants the same things. And one thing with Aries is I, I don't really see from my experience, I don't really I've never really seen an Aries with someone that wasn't strong. You know, you gotta be strong in in many different facets to be with an Aries. To to be with most fire signs, to be honest. And that's what this person is. I mean, this person is someone that can handle the bad days and are more than willing to be there for the good days. Now, the fact that I do feel a lot of fire in this person, I feel like there's going to be days when there's going to be shit's going to hit the fan. You know, there's going to be days when it's it feels more like a, a, a love hate relationship. You know what I mean? Because this person. One thing about this person is they don't back down. They're not going to back down. You know, they're not going to they're not going to get their feelings hurt neither. You know, when you prove them wrong, we move on. When they prove you wrong, we move on. We get over it quickly. You know, that's another thing too. This person doesn't hold grudges. They stand their ground. But they'll also do that for you as well. You know, there's going to be moments when, when you can't stand this person. But secretly, you love that about them. And it's the same for them. You know what I mean? Have you ever been in a situation where you're with someone and they piss you off, but you want to you wanna be with them? Because you know at the end of the day, two hours later, you're going to be over it. You know, a lot of open communication that you have with this person. I feel like that's the key to it all. You know, it's not the physical. It's not the mental compat compatibility. It's the fact that you can just talk about it. You can just be who you are with each other. You know, and, and, and the potential here is endless. I mean, we got that page of wands. The both of you see that this, how far this could possibly go. And then... And then some, you know, from the moment this person met you, they weren't looking anywhere else. You know, this is someone that will be loyal. This is someone that's going to have your back, even when they're pissed off at you. You know, they can be pissed off at you and you can be pissed off at them. But if somebody else gets in the way and, and, and tries to mess with you, it don't matter. This person's all about you. They got your back. You know, this is that ride or die person. This is the person that can be there for you, that will show up for you, that will put in the work for you, that will nurture this connection. Even when you're not getting along. Because it's not about today. It's about tomorrow. It's always about tomorrow. You know, it's today may be a bad day, but there's always going to be a tomorrow. And as long as there's tomorrow, we're always moving forward. Like I said, there's nobody else. You know, this person has tunnel vision for you. You know, this person, I feel like the connection that you have with this person only gets deeper and deeper. Like I said, I feel like this person is honest with you. They're open with you. You know, they're loyal to you. This person wants the same things. They want stability. They want someone that's going to show up for them. They, they want someone that's going to put in the work. And they want someone that's going to have a good time. That knows how to let their hair down and just... Be in the moment. Very spontaneous energy from this person as well. You never know what's going to happen next. And I feel like it's a bit exciting. You know, it's not like you never know what's going to happen next. Like you're worried. It's like you never know what's going to happen next. It's just kind of exciting. It's kind of free. I mean, this is more than a crush. From the... From the get-go, this was more than a crush. This person didn't just want to get with you. They wanted to be with you. And for those who don't know the difference... <laughs> I see a lot of new stability with this person. Like I said, I, I feel like you're both looking for that. I feel like you're both at that point in your life. You know, I feel like you both have your shit together. And you know what I mean? It's almost like, uh, almost like it was meant to be. Almost like you're meant to meet this person. You know, the stars have aligned. I feel like you're getting everything that you want from this person. Like I said, that 
I mean, they're loyal. You know, they're balanced. You know, they get that balanced energy, very passionate, you know, but they can also be compassionate. And, you know, that mental compatibility, that physical compatibility. I mean, it, it, we're clicking on all cylinders here. And I feel like that's really what's going to set this apart from anything else either one of you have ever dealt with before. Is the fact that you both want the same things. And you're both willing to do what it takes to get it. And I feel like, honestly, I feel like you're going to see... You're going to feel more like yourself than you ever did before. And they're going to feel more like themselves. And honestly, I feel like when you're with the right person, it just kind of gels. You know, you don't have to be anything more or less than you are. You know, what? how you, you know, you are enough. They are enough. And together, you're enough. More than enough. Like I said, I feel like you're going to bring the best out of each other. You know, I see this as a very, I mean, it's all about the win. And Aries, we know you love to win. You know what I mean? We're not, we're not going to, we're not going to debate that. <coughs> but like I said, it's, I mean, we have the Six of Wands. We have the, the Wheel of Fortune. Good things happening. I mean, we also have the World Card. I mean, I feel like you were meant to meet this person. I feel like you were meant to meet them now. And like I said, I, I see it only getting stronger as we move forward. It's all about the win here. We're just continuously winning. And like I said, there's going to be days when it's, you know, they're going to piss you off. And you're not going to want to look at them. And then when they go away, you, you're going to wait for them to come back. And it's the same thing for them. You know, I see a lot of potential here. The potential that I feel like you already saw. I feel like you've both been waiting for this. And now is your time. Now is your time to shine. <laughs> you know what I mean? We have that Ten of Cups, that family card. We have that King of Cups, that, you know, that maturity level, that emotional maturity level. I feel like you're both ready for this. You've been ready for this. And now it's time. And I feel like as, as we move forward, the stronger we get, the more we trust each other, the more we feel like we're in the place that we're meant to be with, or in the place that we're meant to be with the person we were meant to be with, you know, establishing that trust. And like I said, it, it's not, it's not always going to be easy, but you know, you're not on it alone. You know, that's the biggest thing in, in life. Everybody always thinks like a lot of people, not everybody, I don't want to put everybody in that box, but I hear so many people say, when I meet the person that I meant to meet, everything's just going to fall into place. I don't think that's the way it goes. I just think when you meet the right person, you have someone that's going to help you get to the right place. You're going to have someone that makes you want to get to that next place. You're going to have someone that is there for you, that supports you, that shows up for you, that puts in the work for you. And you give them the same back. I mean, it sounds like a winning, a winning partnership to me. You know, a lot of balance. You balance each other out. You know, like I said, there's a lot of a lot of moving parts here, but I feel like you're going to get what you want from this person. You know, I feel like you're both on the same page. You're getting someone that is passionate, caring. I know I'm repeating myself, but, you know, this is not something I feel like you're easily... you know, ever going to be able to match, you know, and I don't feel like you're ever going to really walk away from this person and they're not really ever going to walk away from you. You know, I feel like, like I said, I feel like it was meant to be. I feel like this person brings a certain something to your life that you've been missing. And that's the thing as well with this person. Yeah, they're a little fiery. You're a little fiery. Together, you're a big fiery. <laughs> that's not even a word, but I'm just making them up. But that's the thing, man, is when you when you get to that point, when you can be next to someone and be everything you want to be, everything you wanted to be is is open possibilities. 
And then when you get to that point, you realize that the possibilities of more becomes endless. When you got the right team, you can do anything. Like I said, with that King of, King of Cups, I mean, we got that. I just realized. Now, I think in the four, four or five years I've been doing this on YouTube, I've only seen this twice. And it's almost like poker, you know? But I mean, like I said, winning. Here we go. I thought we had it here. But I mean, we have, we have the king, we have all the kings. I mean, it's, it, it's all about the win. You know, the king, king of pentacles, king of wands, king of swords, king of pentacles. I mean, we have all sides with this read as well. I mean, it's such a complete read. You know, they just, you just complete each other. I mean, we have Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. And I know I say all signs, and I say it anyway. I'm kind of OCD. Not kind of, a lot OCD. So I got to say it. But like I said, I feel like this was just meant to be. You know, as long as you've been waiting for that person, they've been waiting for you. You know, and I feel like you're you're both ready for that next level. And that's why it finally came together. You know, and I know all about being fiery. I'm a I'm a Sagittarius sun and moon and a, a Leo rising. I know I know I gotta be with someone that, that I can handle my fire. I, I can't be with someone that gets hurt every time I get my I get a little bit angry. You know, my temper comes out a little bit. I'm not a blow up kind of person, but you know what I mean? Like it happens sometimes and I can't be with someone that holds that against me. Now I'm not saying that's not depending on what's in your chart, but I know me. I know if you know something happens I don't want them to hold a grudge against me. I don't want them holding that over my head. I don't want that person being pissed at me for the next three weeks over something stupid I had said or I had did. You know, to each his own, depending on what's in your chart. But to a, a person that's got a lot of fire, you're bound to have a little bit of a temper. And I don't think that's a bad thing. I think that there's times when you should stand up for yourself. You know, I I don't want to be a pushover. But I also don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. Like my best friend, I've been friends with him since we were four. You know, and that's my ride or die dude. And we've had fights. We've had fights where people thought we hated each other. And then next day or that night, we're hanging out again because we have that relationship. It's, it's strong. It's forged in fire. Be good. Take care. Stay safe.